We're on the phone today with Tim Holstrom with the S.S. Stallions in the Canadian Premier Junior Hockey League. Uh, Tim, how's it going today, buddy? I'm good, thanks. Uh, down here at the rink, kind of practice here, but everything is good. Tim, 40 goals, 30 assists in 25 games. Wow. Um <laughs> Tell, tell, just tell me a little bit about that. You know, last year in 38 games, you had 48 goals and 29 assists. Uh, that's an amazing set of stats. Yeah. Yeah, well, like I say, I like I have a good coaching staff and everything, and all the players respect me and like wanted to help myself and help me as much as I, they can. And if you're having fun and a good teammates, everything can happen. But. And, yeah. Well, yeah, it said like 70 points. Your next closest teammates got 44 there with Jared. Uh, yep. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah. No, like, yeah, of course I can't complain. I'm like, I got a lot of ice time and the uh, coach trusts me a lot, so just doing my thing. <laughs> Try my best. Tim, tell me a little bit. Uh, you're from Sweden. What brought you to Canada to play hockey? So, yeah, I'm from Sweden, and I always wanted to come over here to North America and play the North American hockey because it's, because it's so big here, over here. The hockey and everything, and the rig is smaller, and it's more action, it's more hits, faster. I always wanted to play here. So, yeah, I got an opportunity after my one of my best friends came here. Um, for three years ago, didn't invite me at all to come over. <laughs> so got a bit jealous and tried to talk to him to get me over here the year after that. And uh, he contacted the coach, and now I'm here. <laughs> this is your second year playing over here, but uh, f talk to me a little bit on the on the on the uh, personal side of it, Tim. Uh, you know, you uh, packed up, left home. Uh, come across the seas. What's it like being over here without your family? Uh, do you, does your family get a chance to watch you play or see you play much? Or yeah, like we have a website and we live streaming games almost every time. So of course it's hard to be uh, so far away from your parents and the time difference when you're gonna call them and everything. But it's going okay. I having so much fun to live alone and uh, can do my thing. Just here playing hockey and just relax and just think about the one thing. And right now, like, kind of feels like I own play fun here and can't complain at all. You, uh, this is your second year here. The Stallions last year won the championship. You're uh, fighting again right near the top of the standings again this year. How do you feel you guys uh, look like last year, com uh, this year compared to last year? Uh, looking a little bit better this year, I would say. Uh, some teams around us get better too, so it's a lot of competition right now, and it's so much fun. Um, but uh, we have a good chance, and I hope, like, if we get going and play our game, we can probably take this championship home this year too. Yeah, well, forty-six points for the Hawks, forty-three points for you guys. That uh, you. You got, you know, a little bit of separation, uh, the top three versus the rest of the league. But, um, you know, uh, you won her last year. You feel you you can win her again this year. Yeah. Like, it feels like last year we had, like, three, four teams, too, that was battling for the championship. And it's not easy to play the bottom teams either. They're very good. And a lot of the uh, players are skilled, too, so it's, you have to be on the game every single day, every time you play, whatever team you play against. So, but right now it feels like we have a good team that can actually do it this year too. It's fun. Tim, tell me uh, your future. Uh, so you're from Sweden. You're playing in Canada. What What's next year look for you? Is there a possibility of college? Uh, what do you What are you feeling for next year? Yeah. That is my mom and dad and me talked about it all the time and I, I really don't know 
uh, my main goal for my hockey life is to go pro and like have a living on hockey and just don't need to make that mon- much money just to get like the only thing I do is play hockey and can do a living for it uh, to go there it's a lot of steps and you, but of course college always been a dream too uh, to come over to the States or to Canada and play hockey in the school so I don't really know but what is like it's four to sixty, like six percent that I'm going to college next year. I hope if I get the right offers and everything. Yeah. You have one more year of junior eligibility, am I correct? Yes, one more year. So if 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 college isn't on in the radar necessary for next year, it could be the year after that, or or would you look at going back home to play? <sighs> That's so hard because of, like if I'm coaching mm-hmm. Sweden, I don't know. Where I want to play, not a big amount of money when you're playing pro there. So it's better for me to develop my games and develop me as a hockey player. And I think I can do that best if I'm going to another junior hockey year here and then playing college or just going to college because that's four or five years of just hockey. Get older and get bigger and get better. I have a bigger chance to go to better pro league. Based on your stats this year and last year, if I was your uh, coach, I'd be figuring out how to keep you, uh, make you younger, so you can stick around for a couple more years. <laughs> yeah, if that would, if that would work, that would be awesome. <laughs> he might be looking to try to figure out how to change your birth certificate, buddy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, couldn't be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a line we don't want to cross, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure he thought about it many times, Tim. <laughs> yeah, maybe I haven't talked to him about that, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tim, this is amazing. Uh, like I say, the, your your stats are unbelievable. Uh, we look forward to talking to you here again just before playoffs and then catching up with you again after the season, Tim, to see what's going on. Uh, I yeah. want to thank you for today. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, and uh, good luck in the games coming up here, and we'll keep an eye on what's going on with you, Tim. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. And have a good good day.